Hey everybody, my name is Shay Walker from All Garage Floors and today we're going to discuss sealers versus coatings for your garage floor. Now there tends to be a little bit of confusion between these two products, so our primary goal here is to explain the differences between both of these. We're going to tell you what they can and cannot do for your floor. In addition, we'll talk about the pros and cons of each. Now this isn't going to be a video about who makes the best sealer or who makes the best coating because to be honest with you there really is no such thing. It all depends on what your budget may be and what you want the sealer or coating to do for you. So please do us a favor, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be updated when we do those videos and you'll know which product you want to use and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to address is terminology because there seems to be some confusion there. Typically when the industry refers to applying a sealer to concrete or the concrete in your garage, they are referring to this type of product right here, a penetrating sealer. However, coatings such as this two-part epoxy are sealers as well. We actually get a lot of questions on our website from people who have applied a two-part epoxy coating such as this one, and they want to know what kind of clear coat sealer we recommend to apply to it in order to seal both the epoxy and the concrete. Well, the first thing we need to explain to them is that they already sealed the concrete just by applying the epoxy itself. There are a variety of great reasons why we recommend applying a clear coat to your epoxy, but that's a video for another day and we don't want to get into that here. So now that we know that both of these products are actually sealers, let's talk about what a penetrating sealer does and how it protects your concrete. When they are first applied, they actually penetrate into the surface, hence the penetrating name. When they do this, they react with the various minerals within the concrete to form a gel-like uh, molecular barrier right at the subsurface. In other words, they are non-film forming. They don't have a protective coating or layer on top of the surface of the concrete. It's right at the subsurface. As a result of this, it does not change the appearance of your concrete. There are some penetrating sealers that might darken it just a little bit, but most people don't even notice. In addition to this, a penetrating sealer cannot chip, flake, peel, or fade. In fact, the only way to get rid of a penetrating sealer or to remove it is via mechanical means such as grinding or shot blasting. In addition, it does not change the slip resistance of the concrete. So whatever slip resistance you had, wet or dry, before you applied the sealer will be the same after you apply it. Another feature about penetrating sealers is that they are breathable. They will allow air to transfer back and forth through the concrete, as well as some moisture vapor transmission. Now, how much moisture vapor transmission can move back and forth all depends on the density of your concrete and what type of sealer that you used. There are various ingredients in penetrating sealers, such as silane, siloxane, silicates, siliconates, there's blends of these, there's lithium, potassium, and so on. But these ingredients are based on the type of sealer you're applying and what you want it to do for you. Now there are some specialty type of sealers. One such example are densifiers. These work by reacting with the concrete to harden the very uppermost surface. And when you harden the surface like this, it helps resist chipping and flaking in very harsh work environments. It also is the best at reducing or eliminating dusting of the concrete if you have a slight issue with that. New to the market are oil repelling sealers, such as this one right here. This particular product by Concrete Sealers USA is their PS100. It's an excellent product at resisting and repelling oil. Most penetrating sealers won't do that. 
we actually tested this product and did a full write-up on it. So if you're interested in something like that, we'll put a link right below in the description there so that you can follow up on that. So now that you know what a penetrating sealer does and how it works to protect the concrete, let's talk about the benefits of a penetrating sealer and what type of protection that you get when you use one. Penetrating sealers will repel water and moisture at the concrete surface. They help to reduce or prevent winter freeze-thaw damage of the concrete. They'll also resist the harmful effects of de-icing fluids and road salts. In fact, it's a reaction of salt with the concrete that can cause the worst pitting and spalling damage. They also reduce or prevent efflorescence. They can stop mold and mildew growth. And most importantly is you get less dirt buildup in the pores of the concrete, which makes for easier cleanup. A couple other benefits we want to point out about penetrating sealers is that they are very budget friendly. They are the least expensive option for sealing your concrete, particularly when compared to coatings. They are also very easy to apply. All that's required in most cases is an inexpensive pump up garden sprayer with a cone shaped nozzle. You don't want to use the fan shaped nozzle because that can lead to streaking sometimes. When you apply it to the concrete, just work it in tight little circles until the concrete gets thoroughly wet. What you don't want to do is let it puddle. If it does, you want to wipe up the excess with a microfiber mop pad or even a lint free roller as you go. And the best part about a penetrating sealer is that there's no further concrete prep required other than making sure that the concrete is thoroughly clean before you start. Unlike coatings, which typically require that you etch or grind the surface first, penetrating sealers can be applied directly to the concrete surface. So now that we know what a penetrating sealer can do for you and how it protects the concrete, let's talk about some of the things that it doesn't do or at least doesn't do very well. And the first of those is that it does not waterproof your concrete. For some reason, there's some people out there who think that their concrete's waterproof once it's applied. What they do is they repel and resist moisture and water, but the concrete will still absorb it if it sits long enough on the surface. Another thing they won't do are seal cracks. If you have a uh, older garage in relatively good shape, but you have a lot of those little spider cracks everywhere, it's not going to seal those up. So you want to be aware of that as well. Another important thing that it doesn't do very well is prevent staining. Now, they will resist staining up to a point. What they basically do is they're going to buy you a little bit of time to clean up whatever the offending staining item may be. Now, it used to be that they didn't work very well against oil at all or, or petroleum type products. However, the newer products like this PS100 by Concrete Sealers USA do a much, much better job at repelling the oil so it'll buy you more time to clean it up. In that way, you either won't get an oil stain or you will severely reduce the amount of staining that you get when you use a specialty product like this one. So now that you know what penetrating sealers will do and how they do it, let's talk about coatings and how they protect your concrete. So unlike a penetrating sealer, coatings are a film forming topical sealer that adheres to the surface of the concrete via a mechanical bond. In other words, they are a coating that adheres to seals and protects the surface of concrete. Depending on the type of coating, they can be available in a variety of different colors, including clear. The most well-known coating is epoxy, However, there's also polyurethane, polyurea, and polyaspartic coatings for garage floors. New to the market are the clear acrylic modified polyurethanes that do an excellent job in a garage environment as well. Now, one of the most misunderstood topics where DIYers get confused is paint and coatings. Is paint and one part epoxy paint the same as a coating? And the answer is no. Paint and one part epoxy paint does not seal concrete. 
Technically, they are a coating in the fact that they are a topical product that adheres to the surface of concrete. At the risk of oversimplifying it, paint in one part epoxy paint is essentially a pigment that once applied to the concrete dries and adheres to the surface. Again, it does not seal it, it's not very durable, and it will peel from hot tires no matter how you prep the concrete or what type of primer you apply. Coatings, on the other hand, are thermal setting. And what we mean by that is there is some sort of catalyst that causes a chemical reaction. And this reaction is what causes the polymer resins within the coating to chemically cross-link. And this cross-linking is what creates a tenacious bond to the concrete as well as a very hard and durable surface that can also be very thick as well, depending on the type of product that is used. Now, epoxy like this one here is two parts. Most of your coatings are. You have the epoxy resin here, it can be colored or clear, and then the hardener. Once they're mixed together, that chemical reaction begins. However, there are single part products such as polyurea and polyurethane and now some newer polyaspartics that react when either exposed to the air when they are applied to the concrete or they react to moisture in the air. So now that you know how a coating works, let's talk about the benefits of applying a coating to your garage floor. Coatings will prevent the intrusion of liquids such as water, oils, chemicals, de-icing fluids, and so on. In fact, if you leave water to sit on the coating, it will stay there until it eventually evaporates or you wipe it up. As a result, they also prevent freeze-thaw damage, pitting, and spalling. They can be highly stain resistant to a variety of chemicals depending on the quality of the coating. And this includes oils, gas, cleaning fluids, brake fluid, acid, solvents, and etc. They will prevent mold and mildew growth. They are very easy to clean and to keep clean. And of course, they are decorative in appearance and can transform the look of a garage. Thick coatings or coating systems can hide properly repaired cracks and other repairs. They can also provide a seamless surface look. Many are light reflective to create a better work environment. And clear coatings can enhance the look of bare concrete as well as acid color staining and colored dyes. The coating itself makes the colors pop. And lastly, coatings can be made non-slip with the addition of anti-slip media. So as you see, there are some fantastic benefits of a coating over a penetrating sealer. And despite the fact that they can completely transform the look of your garage, there are some things to be aware of if you're deciding on choosing a coating for your garage floor. And the first of these is that there are large disparities in performance and quality with coatings. So it's very important that you do your homework. Learn the differences between the different coating products and how well they perform compared to each other. A great example of this would be Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield. That is probably the most well-known garage floor coating kit out there. It is also one of the least expensive and probably the lowest performing. It is not glossy despite the, the pictures they show you on the box. It has more of a satin finish. It is a low solids coating, meaning it's very thin. It runs an average of three mils thick, which is about the thickness of a sheet of paper. The biggest complaint is hot tire pickup, and it lasts an average of three to five years if you're going with just a color coat. Now, it does a good job of stain resistance, but some oils and other petroleum products and solvents can discolor or permanently stain the coating. Now, if we compare that to this kit here, there is a huge difference. This is a commercial quality, high solids DIY flooring kit by Garage Flooring LLC. 
This is their true lock epoxy line. It's a 93% solids, and that means it's going to run an average of three to four times thicker than epoxy shield. It will not suffer from hot tire pickup. It is extremely glossy, and it will last three to four times longer than epoxy shield. It's also much more stain resistant, and it's more expensive. Coatings is a product where you truly get what you pay for. Now this might be about two times more expensive than epoxy shield, but it's gonna last three to four times longer and look much nicer. So this is a great example of doing your homework to find out what you're going to get. Now, speaking of costs, coatings in general are more expensive than penetrating sealers, particularly if you're gonna be doing a coating system that involves possibly a base color coat, color flakes, clear coats, maybe a primer coat, and so on. Application is more involved in time consuming. Most coatings require that you etch the concrete at a minimum, and some of your high performance coatings prefer that you grind the concrete instead of etching. It can take an average of two to three days to apply a coating because of all the steps that are involved. Coatings are also susceptible to moisture in concrete. So if you have a garage floor that looks wet at times, or you know has some moisture issues, you may not want to do a coating. We highly recommend that you do a moisture test first before you decide to go with any type of coating on your garage. Something else to be aware of is that coatings get very slippery when they're wet. So if that is a concern of yours, then it's important that you use an anti-slip media in the final coat of your coating system. If you're applying just one color coat or clear coat, apply the anti-slip media to that. If you're doing more than one coat, do it in the last coat. And despite the fact that coatings can be a great choice and extremely durable in a busy garage environment, such as doing automotive repairs, using jacks, jack stands, and things like that, it is not the best choice if you are the type of person who likes metal fabrication, welding, if you drag objects across the floor and such, because you're not going to be happy. You're eventually going to chip up or burn that coating no matter how good it may be. Hopefully this video has helped you to decide whether you want to do a penetrating sealer or a coating for your garage floor. If you're still undecided or you want to do some research on what product you think might be best for you, please visit our website. We have a link down below. We have actually reviewed dozens upon dozens of product in both penetrating sealers as well as coatings. In our articles, we have comment sections where we interact with our readers and we have answered hundreds of questions on some of these topics. So that's worth the read as well. Or if you like, you can contact us directly on our website or through the comment section down below. We'll be happy to answer your questions. We'll also drop some links on some of the products that you might be interested in, including some coatings that do not require concrete prep. So please do us a favor, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified when we update you with new products. And thanks for watching.